Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. It's the In Wheel Time car talk show. Coming up, we've got some stuff for you. Stuff. I've got a special <laughs> feature on calling the car dealership and listening to the phone ring off the wall. Either you're calling it, or if you're in the dealership, you can hear it ringing. And I want to say, you want to go ahead and take a couple minutes out of my time to answer your phone? Let me go over there and answer it. I'll take care of it. (laughs) That would be funny. When I was working at the car dealership, I hated answering the phone because I was kind of like the switchboard operator. They don't want to talk to me. Uh, uh, Ed Campbell, please. Uh, yeah, hold on. Put him on hold. Hey, Ed, got a phone call, line one. Ten minutes later, the person's still holding. <laughs> and Ed Campbell's writing up another customer. <laughs> he's on vacation. He's, he hasn't even, well, he knows that he's, he's not, not going to make any the, money off of that phone call. He's not in the country. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> poor Ed. I know, poor Ed. No, not poor Ed. Poor Ed made a lot of money. Because <laughs> he didn't talk on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he did not. He's out there writing up customers. Howdy along with Mike out of this world, Mars. We always need more Jeff Zekin, Chief Engineer David Ainsley, vacationing in the is he UP. Still, is he still UP? I think so. And I'm Don Armstrong. Glad that you could join us oh, today. Yes, I'm sorry? I was pointing at the UP. On the, on yeah. the, He's a Uper. The Uper. He's a Uper. The Uper. So uh, to continue that story, endless ringing or getting stuck on hold happens to one out of seven dealership service customers who try to schedule an appointment, according to new Pied Piper research. Oh. This is from Automotive News. In a first-of-its-kind study, Pied Piper called 2,716 automotive dealerships. All of them got put on hold. Hmm. Spanning 34 brands between January and May to measure the efficiency and quality of service calls when attempting to set up an appointment for a check engine light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the study aimed to measure a new and invisible metric for dealer principals and general managers to help boost their brand loyalty, Pied Piper CEO Fran O'Hagan said, redheaded woman. Well-run service departments focus on increasing customer loyalty and the first service experience to drive that loyalty is a customer's phone call to schedule an appointment, he said in a statement. Can you imagine the crap that he gets because his name is Fran? Well, from the hey, red-headed, Franny. From the red-headed lady, he probably does. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> Vehicle customers who find scheduling service difficult vote with their feet by moving to another dealership or independent shop or even getting rid of their problem vehicle. Hmm. Pied Piper began with 30 zip codes and expanded its scope to areas with the highest population densities, Houston, identifying dealerships most likely to receive service calls. Dealerships were rated on a scale of 0 to 100. Efficiency measurements, the time taken for customers to reach someone to schedule an appointment, for example, accounted for 62% of the total score. Quality measurements, such as the proactive efforts to offer alternative cars during service or providing appointment guidance, made up the remaining 38%. Acura captured the top spot in the study with a score of 65. Mazda was second with 64. Lexus third with 63. At Acura, only 3% of customers waited on hold more than two minutes compared with 12% overall. The industry-wide average total score was 58. Ms. No, can't even use that anymore. (laughs) O'Hagan said the magic demarcation line is two minutes. Anything beyond that and bad things happen, he told Automotive News. Customers could switch to another dealership or an independent shop, a potential revenue pitfall as most dealers make their money in service and parts. Overall, 55% of callers accomplished their goal of speaking to someone within one minute and scheduling an appointment for within one week 42% of the dealerships achieve scores of 70 or more for providing a proactively helpful experience that goes above and beyond the customer's basic expectation, O'Hagan said. 
However, no brand scored in the 70s because while some other dealerships performed well, others did not, dragging down the average score. Fiat, with a score of 44, and Chrysler and Polestar, both with a 47, ranked lowest on the study. Wow. On average, customers hung up more than 25% of the time without scheduling a service appointment at these brand stores. You know, so there I, you have it. You, two no minutes, surprise there. Two minutes is plenty of time to think about why is this taking so long? Why is this dealership? You know, people can get irritated pretty quick, and I can see that. There's also, when you get online to a dealership, they get the little pop-up. Hi, my name is Ned. I'm here to help you. Ned. Or, or whoever. Ned. I'm the, I'm the red-haired lady. <laughs> and ask me any question. We got cars. Da, da, da. My name is O'Hurley. It pops up in that part of your screen that you can talk to the AI assistant is what it is, yeah. and they direct you. So you get it on the Internet. You just don't get it on the I don't understand. Website. If you've got a check engine light, why can't you just go on line and say, hi, I'm me. And I have this car, and either type in your customer number that you get if you bought it there, or right. uh, you know some number, something to identify Life yourself, plate, bike bars something. or whoever. Yeah, yeah. And I've got this, you know, seventy-five uh, Chevy Biscayne that I need to get in because the check engine light is on. Okay, when would you like to come in? We have these slots available. Yeah, I guess that's your I'll point. take that slot right there. Why can't it be that simple? I think it's getting to that point because I'll tell you, I called the guy the other day uh, and the machine answered his voicemail. And it came up and said, hello, Michael. Ross is busy at the moment, but he'd be glad for you to leave him a message. And you, you know, leave the message if you want to. But it, it identified me and addressed me as number. me. And, it, and I asked him about that. It's an AI program. It knows to go in there, use caller ID to find out who's calling. Here's the message you give them. If I'm not available, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I think they're going to get to that point, and that really should be their answer. You mean to tell me that your name didn't pop up as Shirley? <laughs> nope. Not this time. <laughs> not or this time. The red-haired lady. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley O'Hurley, he. Sure. Got a ring to it. She drinks Jameson. Apparently. Ye Yeehaw. Yeah. Or that other high, uh, high-end stuff. Yeah. Good um, stuff. It's good with coffee. Is it? Yeah. I don't care for anything it's right good now. good with I'm anything. doing fine. My water's just doing fine. Uh, we have some recalls to tell you about. No. They, in <laughs> they include the Ford Escape for 23 and 24 misaligned cruise control radar module. It looks to the back. I don't know. <laughs> Unexpected downshift can cause loss of control in the Ford F-150 for the 2014 model year. Now, okay, I'm doing 75 miles an hour down the highway, and all of a sudden, it downshifts to first. I hope you got rev matching. <laughs> Ain't no rev matching at that speed. <laughs> yeah, Can you imagine? The whole back end gets locked up, and you go spinning off like a NASCAR in a, in a bad Sunday uh, afternoon. Something will probably pop. In the transmission before that. Something. Land Rover, engine compartment fire from an oil leak. Defender, Discovery, Range, Range Rover, Range Rover Sport, Range Rover VLR for the 2024 model year. Take it back. Engine compartment fire from an oil leak. Jaguar F-Pace for 2024. Hmm. I knew somebody that had that. Yeah. Got rid of it. <laughs> Front brake hoses can crack and leak fluid in the Porsche Taycan 2020 to 2025. Front brake hoses can crack and leak fluid. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess you'd find that out once you push your Go foot back all to the, the vendor way to the floor. on that one, yeah. Instrument panel may fail to eliminate in the Cadillac XT5 and XT6, 23 to 25. Lexus TX and the TX Hybrid. The Toyota Grand Highlander and the Grand Highlander Hybrid for 2024. Curtain airbag may deploy improperly. Hmm. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to get the TX, and uh, they said, nope, can't give it to you. I have to trade it out with something else because it's on recall. It's on recall. I'll be darned. Volkswagen Atlas, which I thought was going to be this one that I'm currently driving, but apparently it wasn't. And the Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport 2020 to 2024 front passenger airbag may not deploy. Front brake hoses can tear and leak fluid in the Audi e-tron and RS e-tron GT 22 to 24. 
door handles can stick and fail to open on the Fisker Ocean. Wait a minute. Isn't that the one that they're pretty yeah. much giving away for $13,000? Yep. 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 So who cares? Ride the high seas. I guess so. Infinity. Drive shaft can break on the M35, Great. M56, Q50, Q70, Q70 Hybrid, and the Infinity Q70L. It starts in the year 2011 and runs through 2019. Drive wow. shaft can break. TPMS. Hmm. Uh, light may not illuminate in the Fiat 500. And ball joint may separate from the lower link on the Nissan Frontier for 2024. This is some, some are some pretty serious uh, problems safety, safety there. Issues, yeah. Yeah. So my suggestion to you is either go to safercar.gov or you can go to nitsa.gov, any of those. Type in your VIN number that you can find on your insurance card. And uh, it'll tell you whether or not you have a recall and whether or not that recall has been completed. So if you buy a used car, you'll want to know, has yeah. it been completed? Right. No, that's and if it do. has, then and, they and it's, know it. We've talked about it in the past, but a good time to do that is every time you go get your yearly vehicle inspection, get your license plate sticker for your car here in Texas, that's a good time to do it. Yeah, we did that with Kylie's. We, we asked for the You graphics. know what? We need, we need to get a hold of um, our DPS officer. And ask him about inspection stickers because you know that's about to change. Oh, it's already in, he'll be in here in on the twentieth. He will. He'll be joining us on the twentieth. Uh, we were trying to work it into where he could join us today to talk a little bit about hurricane evacuations or whatever. I'm sure whatever. he's busy today. Yeah, and he just he just couldn't do it. So we set it up on the twentieth, and uh, be a good thing to talk to him about. Yep. And last time we saw him was at uh, Tailpipes and Tacos live and in person. I know. Yeah. It was good to see him. Okay, so we've got that. Let's do something that we haven't done in a few weeks. Uh oh, I'm I'm tingling. I shave. <laughs> <laughs> tingling. All right. Uh, what we do here once in a while when we can, we have time. Hemmings has this thing that they put out on Mondays called the Hemmings.com Sold Cars Roundup. So these are cars that have sold through their online auction. Used cars, clearly. So we try to guess. Now, I could drill down, but it's way too much work. We don't. We were just kind of trying to make it simple here on certain cars and models. Simple, as we call it. Yeah. We like and simple. So I give the year, make, and model of the car, and then you decide what you think was the sold car price for this. Okay. Now Jeff is a big they can, Cadillac. They fan. can play along at home. And Jeff, what would? you give for a 2006 Cadillac XLR V. Now, this... That's one of them that I'm really not a fan of. I understand that. So it was built built on a Corvette chassis and it didn't fly. It didn't didn't sell that well for them. But now, today, they're a little bit rare. What's the year again? This is a 2006 XLR V. So it's got the V8 in it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think that that's sold for? It's a convertible. 21. Cars? I mean, I now, this is a $100,000 car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He I, says 21,000. He says 21. I, I was thinking more like 15, cause, but I don't have a clue. Really? I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah. Well, it sold for $32,550. No. I wouldn't have given that. No. If you're into that sort of thing. How about Maybe for a, a 1971 Chevy Corvette? Convertible. Ooh. What do you think that that would sell for? 71. Looks good. Deep forest green with a white vinyl top on it. Ooh. Black walls, trim rings. I mean, it looks good. It's got the chrome bumper in the front and the back. Yeah. Yeah. That was the last year, the chrome bumper, wasn't it? I believe so. Well, remember, they kind of divided it in half. They put the... They split it, yeah, mm -hmm. on the back. The 72, I think, had the, the rubberized bumper color-coded, mm-hmm. and then the back one was still chrome, and then 73, I think, that they went. The urethane. Whatever, yeah. So, I'm thinking, Mike, you go first. You said it. At, what year is it? 71 Corvette convertible. Yeah, I, it, the mileage on them things really drive the price on that, so let's just say it's just it's medium average. I would say 22. Yeah, I'll go 18. 31.5. Must be really clean. Must be a nice car. <clears throat> he 
you go. Mr. Niederville. <laughs> yeah. 1969 Chevy C10. Pick them up truck. It looks stock. It's got a light blue body and a white cab. Looks like it's been taken care of. What do you think something like that would very, sell? Very what they call a square body. A yeah. 69 Chevy C10. Yeah, them things are so hot right now yeah. that, that I, I would probably, if it's restored or whatever. It I looks would completely say, stock. Yeah, I, I would say about 26. Good call. That was a good one. Uh, let's go 25. 16.8. Oof. Maybe they're not as hot as I thought they were. Well, 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 we don't know the other conditions. Right. I mean, it may be full of rust. We mm-hmm. don't know. A 1941 Dodge Deluxe. I'm going to show you the Deluxe. <laughs> it's that blue Ooh, one right there. Yeah, that's a it D-luck. looks really good. Get it looks like wide, a Deluxe. Wide whites. Looks like it's been fully restored. Beautiful paint Chop job. It, dark it blue. Out. It's even got the optional fog lights that are mounted to the bumper uh, add-ons in the front of it. It's, it's nice. That would be one to take on the Hot Rod Tour of Texas. Mm-hmm. I think I'd have to lower it and put some other different tires. And yeah, wheels you'd on have to do whatever. a little bit, but then that, that's and then the price starts going down. On Forty-one it. Dodge Deluxe. Uh, I'd have to say probably eighteen. Forty-six. <laughs> well, let's split it in the middle. How about twenty-eight eight seventy-five? <laughs> there it is, twenty-eight eight seventy-five. Wow. There's some. There's some. And this in- is the sold prices, right? This yeah. is what they were asking. That's what they said. This what they sold. Up okay. Here. Here's one for the masses. A 2015 Ford Roush Mustang. Ooh. Good looking car. Bad looking. Bad to the bone. What do you think that that car would sell for right there? Got the Roush paint job on it, special wheels, tires, and you know it's got engine work on it. Of course, you don't know if it's been tore up or not. Yeah, you don't know if it's been sideways on YouTube videos crashing through the intersection. Correct. Uh, I, I would, I would, the Roush, I would go 24. 32. Very good. 33.6. Happy oh, darn. First one that, we got in all month. That, <laughs> that, that, uh, was that a $100,000 car? At least. I don't think the Roush was. Now, yeah. the saline was definitely, well, uh, but uh, the same, same shelf. All right. Uh, the last one, a 2018 Ferrari 488 Spider. There it is, in white. See Ooh. it down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. The phone a friend on that one. <laughs> no lie. Um, 125? I don't have a clue. 98. $280,000. <laughs> so our, our, both of our prices wouldn't buy it. <laughs> it's a beautiful car, but oh, holy yeah. Toledo. $220,000. And somebody beautiful. found it on Hemmings. Dot com oh, and bought it. Golly. Yeah. So if you want to have some fun, you got time, and you should have uh, this weekend once the storm gets here, then uh, go to Hemmings.com and the sold cars roundup, mm-hmm. or the cars that are for sale. Yep. All right. Uh, the In-Wheel Time Car Talk Show is available 24-7 through the iHeartRadio app. It's In-Wheel Time Car Talk. Just look for that. New daily podcasts available from your favorite podcast provider. We also video stream our live three-hour weekly show on Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com. The In-Wheel Time Car Talk Show will continue right after this quick break. Pro-Am Auto Accessories has been serving Houston's auto enthusiasts since 1984, providing world-class products for sports cars, European sedans, and American muscle. Pro-Am is known as the place to go to find exclusive and hard-to-find parts and accessories. Pro-Am is one of the very first distributors in the USA for brands such as Recaro, Redline, Momo, Corbo, and Simpson. Located in the heart of Houston's premier retail and service corridor, the Galleria area, Pro-Am's walk-in storefront includes an 8,000-square-foot warehouse, showroom, and installation bays. Pro-Am not only sells parts and accessories, but also offers installation and service. Pro-Am is now reaching a worldwide audience through Pro-Am.com, taking its local reputation to the rest of the world. At Pro-Am Auto, you'll be dealing with a small group of professionals who truly want to help you with your automotive needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call and Pro-Am will lend you a hand. Pro-Am Auto, 6125 Richmond at Green Ridge in Houston's Galleria area. Call them at 713-781-7755. Want to feel good about something special you did for someone special? 
In Real Time and the original Loopy Tortilla group of Tex-Mex restaurants have joined together to help a very worthy cause, God's Garage, a Christian-based 501c3 charity. We know there are lots of places and organizations out there where you can donate a car, truck, or SUV, but we're asking you, our car enthusiast family, to consider donating to God's Garage. Visit godsgarage.org and learn about its mission, the women that have been helped, how each one is screened, and about their Restore You program. A car donation is an easy way to make a difference in the lives of others. God's Garage needs good operating vehicles, but will take all types in working and non-working condition. Make your heart and soul feel good by donating your gently used vehicle and help support single mothers, widows, and wives of deployed military at godsgarage.org. In Wheel Time Car Talk. <laughs> we always have some features for you in this segment. We have Jeff and Inside Jeff Zekin's Mind. Close the door. Well, I'll tell you what. Traveling this, well, and tires. Well, traveling is just to get your tires going for the, the summer season. Uh, places that you can buy them because this is going to be my tire day. Different places, different uh, opportunities. You're going to replace them because they're old. You get a flat. You need to get two tires, one tire, maybe change the spare. But here you go. These are the places you can buy tires that are fairly inexpensive. Costco is one of them. You may not know that, but Costco does have an automotive department. Surprised to know that you can get tires at Costco in addition to your rotisserie chicken, Michael, or a hot dog, Don. Uh, <laughs> check out your local Costco tire center for prices. Remember the factor in free installation. Five-year road, has warrant, road hazard warranty is also there. Uh, rotation balance and other checks of your automobile. The next one is Tire Rack. Now, this is an online service. Uh, you may want a specialized tire, perhaps looking for tires that can only be shipped directly to you. Tire Rack has plenty of options, direct to the consumer, dealer, or the, the shop that you do a business with uh, when you're comparison how shopping. How can they compete? I don't understand how they can compete price-wise with the big box stores or, or with, like, say, for instance, discount tire. They can price match, and it used to be back in the day when I was heavily involved But that involved includes shipping? In in some cases, it does. But when they price matched back in the day, it was only for a brick and mortar store because of the shipping and the tires cheaper online than they were at that discount tire or the Costco or the Walmart. But nowadays, they're all about the same price. So that's all washed. The shipping and all that stuff, it's, sometimes it's included. Sometimes they waive it depending on the value of what you're buying. I'll be. I had yep. no clue. Yep. So Tire Rack is one of them. Uh, and then, of course, the mobile installation. Tire Rack has a service where they'll drive up to your house in their truck and put them on for you in your driveway oh, or your work. But I don't want my tires delivered to my house. I have nothing. So this would, would work. A house the, or a business. Well, I mean, yeah. Take it to the, to the for instance, uh, uh, Carolina. Yeah. I don't know whether she has mounting uh, facilities there at her shop. I know that, but we're going to get into that here well, in just a minute. I know... Uh, Another journalist that I follow on Facebook, she ordered tires, and she had a picture of them in her driveway, mm -hmm. all four. Yep. She was looking for somebody to put them on. Yeah. Well, you got to figure she that out before you online, do that. Now, that's her fault. <laughs> well, I, I understand, but, you know, it's a lot of people get caught that way. Oh, I can get them online cheaper. Well, now it's like a dog chasing a car. What do you do with it when you catch it? Yeah, exactly. So, but you have to consider that in there, and they'll, they'll, they'll tell you all about that once you get on their site. The next one we have is Walmart. Oh, Wally World may not be traditional to consider when you're in the market for a few tires, but when you're at Walmart, you can get your car serviced, your oil changed, your tires rotated, balanced. You can get new tires while you're doing the shopping, while you're looking at uh, the shoe department or you're buying a new bathing suit, Mike. So all of that stuff while you're shopping, you can have the stuff done. Mike buying a bathing suit. <laughs> really? They, they don't sell G-strings there. <laughs> Oh, and the next one we have uh, that you can buy vehicle or tires for your vehicle is Tire Buyer. Uh, you have different options for tires depending on what you need. The Tire Buyer can help you navigate those choices. They all can do that. It's just a matter of your you choice. You can do that for You them. can do that. No, I, you. Yeah, I you, could. You. Yeah. Uh, typical options like searching maybe your year, make, model. They put all that in. They will direct you to the size of the tire for your vehicle. Uh, if you're looking for high-performance tires, this is a good place to go also. Online for high-performance high tires is probably the better way to go uh, unless you know somebody that deals with 
performance tires. But then you still got the same problem of getting them mounted. Well, not everybody can, can mount those Here's kind of tires. your answer to that. There's a place called Simple Tire. Simple Tire works with shops in your area. So if you go to Simple Tire, you're looking for tires, and you buy the tires, they will recommend, will go to Don's uh, Lube or go to Mike's... Uh, body repair place they will do your tires for you so they recommend so it's like a mobile thing. well no they recommend places okay you oh, buy the tires it's a brick and mortar store to and go to. the nearest place near you is two miles away we'll deliver them to that place and you can set up the appointment oh so, so they don't send them to your house they, they send, send them, them to, to that, that place because they are part of I that want, i don't want tires sent to my house i'm, I'm uh, gonna put four brand new corvette tires in the corvette to take it somewhere to get them mounted not exactly i agree okay we know his feeling on that uh amazon is another one uh really does have everything you need including tires but you got to be careful because of course there's no installation and they will deliver them anywhere you want depending on the address you give them but getting a retailer to do that uh is okay uh in some cases you have to look at what Amazon does because if you buy a tire, it's only going to be one tire, not one set. So if you're looking for four tires, you got to put in four tires. So there's a little discrepancy with Amazon on you gotta that. Got to pay attention. Yeah. And the last one is Sam's Club. Uh, of course, it's just like the Costco's. Uh, they have a, a shop there. You can get your oil changed and all that good stuff while you're walking around getting that hot dog or getting that piece of pizza, Mike, or that bathing suit. So. There you go. Check them out. And I will say this, that, that Jeffrey helped me a lot when it came to purchasing the replacement tires on the Corvette. Now, the car, the car's tires that it came with uh, that were on there, I didn't realize how thin they were in the back because certain people that owned the car prior to me <laughs> apparently burnt them off of it. But no. whatever the case may be, Jeff helped me in the fact that he made, it sh- made sure for the guy over at discount to make a note on the order sheet that I wanted these tires, but I wanted to make sure that the build date on yeah. those tires were within, what, six months of each other yeah. or something? You're good with a year, but six months is even better. Yeah. yeah. So although the tires were the same period of birthdays, okay? Yeah. Build so, date. Yeah, the build date of the tire. And I never thought about that. No. But, you know, when you buy tires and you don't have somebody that is really looking out for you, like Jeff looked out for me, I wouldn't know. Tie new tires, a new tire. Yeah, give me four tires or three yeah. tires, whatever but it is. But the build date can be important. And why is that, Jeff? Well, because they, they deteriorate. Tires do rot on the shelf like anything. It's like a head of lettuce. It generally goes bad. Tires do that, too. And the next segment, my motor minute, we're going to talk a little bit about something like that. Okay, so good. So just kind of led into it. Well, so there you go. I, Interesting. I, you know, just call me Carnac. I, I didn't Karnak. know you could do that. that huh? you, I didn't know that you could tell them that I want Yes, absolutely. That, and, that uh, tire's too old. you got to give me something different. Just tell them. Just flat out tell them. The, the tires. And they know, they think that you're not going to know. Yeah, you're not paying it's, attention. It's the week and know. the year the tire was built. I guarantee you, my, uh, one of my girls, she's bought some tires recently. She never looked at that. So I never did she either. She just had a bad tire. I need a new one. Yeah. yeah. So if it's 20 of 24, it's the 20th week of 2024. Huh. Uh, uh. Da, da, da. Learn da, something da, da. new every day. Telling Today's Inwell Time Car Talk Show is sponsored by the group of original Loopy Tortilla restaurants in Houston, Beaumont, and College Station, Gulf Coast Auto Shield, and Pro-Am Auto Accessories. Cool. Our show continues right after this quick break. The original group of Loopy Tortilla Restaurants will have you telling your family and friends just what the original recipe means when it comes to the best fajitas in Southeast Texas. Founder Stan Holt invites you to visit the first Loopy Tortilla near I-10 and Highway 6. Here is the original house that inspired the design of all the rest and the original charm that helped make Loopy Tortilla the go-to destination for Houston Tex-Mex. Nothing can compete with the original lime pepper marinade that everyone will agree makes Loopy Tortilla award-winning beef fajitas the the best anywhere. Loopy Tortilla Katie's another location that gives you the same quality and service Houstonians have come to expect at Loopy's. It's located on 99 the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard in Katy. Find yourself in Aggieland? Head to the Loopy Tortilla in College Station. Located just around the corner from Kyle Field, it's a great place to enjoy those famous frozen margaritas before or after the game. Going to Louisiana? The Loopy Tortilla in Beaumont is on I-10, so you can't miss it. The original group of Loopy Tortilla restaurants has the best Tex-Mex anywhere, and you're in Invited anytime. 
Your car is a direct reflection of you, so don't be satisfied with color fade or a dingy, dull appearance. Get rid of those terrible automated car wash scratches. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your save the paint company. John Gray and his team of detailing experts can help your car's finish without a full repaint. Searching for the real experts in window tint or windshield protection? Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Dash cams, radar detectors, Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Got a new car? Get that thing protected as soon as you take delivery. If you don't know which of the multitude of protection products to go with, John Gray will give you an honest opinion and won't sell you something you don't need or can't afford. John will help you understand the many options and pricing right on the spot. He's your guy to have your ride looking its best and protected too. See the -the state-of-the-art shop yourself. Free tours anytime. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is easy to get to. Located just south of the Southwest Freeway on the Sam Houston Parkway. Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Full service luxury car care today and online at gcautoshield.com that's it for this podcast episode of the in wheel time car show i'm don armstrong inviting you to join us for our live show every saturday morning 8 to 11 a.m central on facebook youtube twitch and our in website podcasts are available on apple podcast spotify stitcher iheart podcast podcast addict tune in pandora and amazon music Keep listening and we'll see you soon.